think is the best counter for an osotagari? What do you think? An osotagari. An osotagari. That's right. So when air comes in, the loopy osotagari closes them down, steps. We see it happen a lot. Some people come in with a really lousy osotagari to stick their leg out. You know, it's not like, oh, that's not very good osotagari. So what do you think is the best counter for an osotagari? What do you think? An osotagari. An osotagari. That's right. So if Jake comes in with just a really sloppy osotagari, and you see this a lot in, in judo, you know, and what Eric's going to do, come in a little closer just so he can get there. So when, when he comes in with it, he's just sticking that leg out there. It's like, throw me, please. You know, what Eric's going to do? He's going to close his arms in tight, just to shut him down. Okay. Now watch with his back leg. He's going to step back. As soon as he kicks back, he's going to reach the other leg, and slam him before he falls. When Eric comes in, the lupio so the guy close him down, steps. Okay. So let's look at the sequence of what happens here. Okay. He can we come in a sloppy so the guy again. He comes in with a sloppy osotagari. Okay, let's, let's, let's stop. The, okay, he closes his arms in tight. That's important. He wants to do that because he can close them in. He steps back with his leg. He gets, what he's doing is he's getting some real power off this leg. Now with his right leg, he's going to point his toe, and he's going to throw him with osotagari. Okay? It really works well. You will throw a lot of guys who come in with that sloppy osotagari and catch them. And we see that a lot, actually, in junior, especially in kids' junior. Right, got that? Get a farm, we're gonna try that.